Sometimes you have to solve equations that look like this. You have a number in front and two terms inside of a parenthesis. This means you have to take the number in front and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses. This is called the distributive property. And in this video, we're going to show you how to solve equations that have the distributive property in it. Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. Here we are in our guided notes about equations with a distributive property. In order to solve all equations, you must use the concept of equality. In other words, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must also do to the other. If the equation has a number being distributed, you must first use the distributive property to simplify. When using the distributive property, you must distribute the constant in front of the parentheses to all terms inside of the parentheses. And when we're talking about constant here, we are talking about the number that is in front of the parentheses. Next, you follow the rules for solving equations with one variable. First, you use the addition or subtraction property of equality to get all constants on one side of the equation. And then you use the multiplication or division property of equality to cancel the variable's coefficient. and get the variable by itself. And when we're talking about coefficients, what we're talking about is the number that is attached to the variable. In the case of the term 3x, 3 would be the coefficient. Let's jump down to the guided practice part of our worksheet. So now we're looking at number 1, which gives us the equation 4 times the quantity x minus 3 equals 4. When you're given an equation like this with a quantity inside of parentheses and a constant in front of the parentheses, that means you need to distribute this constant to everything inside of the parentheses. In order to do that, you're going to take the constant in front and multiply it by all of the terms on the inside of the parentheses. In the case of this equation, we're going to take the 4 and multiply times the first term, which is our x. Then we're going to also take 4 and multiply it by the second term in the parentheses, which is 3. Then we're going to do the math. 4 times x is 4x. And then 4 times 3 is 12. We bring down the equals 4. You will notice that the minus sign in the middle gets carried through the problem. So when we do 4 times 3, we keep this minus sign right in the middle. So it goes minus, minus, minus. We are left with 4x minus 12 equals 4. We have to get all the constants on one side together. So we're going to go ahead and add 12 here. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So we add 12 to this side. The 12s will cancel on the left side. We're left with 4x equals 4 plus 12 is 16. Then the last step is to divide both sides by 4. Giving us a solution, x equals 4. Our second practice problem gives us the equation 10 times the quantity 5x minus 3 equals 20. So the same thing applies here. We have our 10 in front of this quantity, which means we have to distribute the 10 to both terms inside of our parentheses here. So when we do that, we're going to end up with 10, which is our leading term, times the first term inside of the parentheses, which is 5x. We bring all our minus sign straight through, and then you distribute again the 10 times the second term, which is 3. 
So our first term is multiplied here, and our second term, which is 3, is multiplied here. Then you have to do the math. So we do 10 times 5x, which is 50x, of course, minus 10 times 3, which is 30. And then you bring down the 20 on this side. Next thing we need to do is we need to get the constants on one side together. So we're going to add 30 to this side and also 30 to this side. The 30s will cancel. We bring down 50x here. And 20 plus 30 is 50 on that side. Finally, we have to get x by itself. So we divide both sides by 50. 50s cancel. And then on this side, you have 50 divided by 50, which is just 1. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.